If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. A bundle item in QuickBooks Online is created from other existing product and service items you sell together as a set. Therefore, before you create the bundle item, you must first create its component items in the products and services list. After doing that, to then create a new bundle item, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar, and then click the Products and Services link under the list's heading to open the Products and Services page. Then click the New button in the upper right corner of the page to open the Product Service Information pane. In the first screen in the pane, click the Bundle Item Choice to then show the fields for the item within the pane. Then enter the name of the item into the required name field. Optionally, if you use SKU numbers, enter the item SKU into the SKU field. Optionally, to upload a picture of the item, click either the Picture button or Edit button, which looks like a pencil to the right, to open a system dialog box. Then use the dialog box to navigate to the picture of the item and click it to select it. Then click the Open button in the dialog box to upload it. To delete the item's picture if needed, click the Delete button below it, which looks like a trash can. The next set of fields contains the item's sales information. Type the description of the bundled product to display in sales forms into the Description on Sales Forms field. Next, under the Product Services included in the Bundle section to enable the display of the individual components within the bundled item in Transaction Forms, Check the Display Bundle Components when printing or sending transactions checkbox. If unchecked, only the Description on Sales Form field value appears. Next, list the items to include within the bundle by selecting them from the drop-down that appears when you click into a row under the Product Service column. For each selected product or service, enter the quantity included in this bundle by typing that number into the adjacent quantity column for each row. To delete a row, click the Delete icon, which looks like a trash can, at the right end of the row to delete. To add a new line, simply click into the bottom row in this list. Alternatively, to add two lines at a time, Click the Add Lines link that appears below the list. You can click and drag the row by the handle at its left side, either up or down, to rearrange the order of the items listed in the bundle. To save the item and close the pane, click the Save and Close button in the lower right corner of the pane. To instead save the item and open a new pane to continue entering items, click the drop-down part of this button and then click the Save and New command instead. To cancel creating the item instead, click the X button in the upper right corner of the pane. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.